my world members from Christian and Kendall! Good evening, friends. Ooh, it's a lady. Ooh, person for the evening. Hello, Alvin. Uh, my name is Christina Cantors. Yes, Cantors like the horse. <laughs> Although, the way I usually get around, I usually walk. So, I do have a Chinese name as well. It's Jing, which my dad tells me means very beautiful. Actually, he doesn't know what it means, because he's not Chinese. <laughs> but I like, look, I like to think it means makes lots of money. Ka-ching! So look, I am part Asian. My, my dad's from Holland and my mum's the Asian one. She's Malaysian. And I tell you what, being half Asian is actually pretty good. I can cook a half decent stir fry. When driving, I only need to indicate half the time. And I'm only a half disappointment to my parents. It's great. Absolutely. Well, look, my mum my my is quite traditional. She, um, when I told her that I was going to quit my job and go travel the world and start a business, she said, Ayo, cannot la. If you want to travel, you marry a rich man. Look, I, I actually thought this was quite good advice. Unfortunately, the first rich man I found, he was already married. So I killed him and took all his money. Ka ching <laughs> Well, look, a lot of people, like, to look at me, a lot of people can't actually tell that I'm Asian. I mean, I've got wavy hair, I've got freckles, and compared to most tiny Asian girls, I'm the size of fucking Godzilla. <laughs> well, I used to hang out with a bunch of Asian girls, and we would do hip-hop dancing together. And they'd be all light on their feet, all dainty, you know, doing these ones. <laughs> hee hee <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm in the back going... <laughs> Leaving a trail of death and destruction in my wake. Ah! They're running away going, ah, take a selfie, ah! Checking on their bubble tea, ah! <laughs> They're dead to me now. Because I accidentally crushed them with my giant fucking feet. <laughs> so they're dead to me now, but it's okay because they only really half accepted me anyway. <laughs> So, um, so I, I like to go to, I do go to Malaysia to visit my relatives uh, quite frequently and because of my giant size, it's actually really depressing to go clothes shopping. I went to my favourite Asian store, you may have heard of it, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> I don't know, I went to, so I went to this mall in Kuala Lumpur and the only clothes that fit me were size XXXL. Men's! <laughs> Ladies, if you want to give your self-esteem a boost, Go shopping in Asia! Or Springvale, whatever's easier. But look, there is a challenge with people not necessarily knowing that I'm Asian. You know how it's okay to joke about your own race? Well, if I make Asian jokes and people don't know that I'm Asian, it just looks like I'm being racist. Which I am. Fucking Asians. But look, I've learned, for, like from that, I've learned that it's really important to make sure your audience understands that you're a part of that minority group that you're about to offend. Hmm? So for my next joke, keep in mind that I do like to have sex with horses. Because <laughs> a whole new meaning to the name Christina Cantors, eh? Right? Oh, it's exhausting. <laughs> So, um, you are a filthy audience. I like you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like you too, back. Just have some fun here, just the two of us, okay. Uh, so, look, before I became the CEO of my own company, that's Chief Entertainment Officer, I, I was an architect. Are there any architects in the house? Yeah, yeah. One guy. <laughs> How'd you get out? Good job, mate. The rest of them are fucking chained to their desks still. No, so, look, I used to be an architect, and the weird thing about being an architect is that People come up to you when you tell them I'm an architect, they'll say, Oh, you're an architect. You must make a lot of money. And I, got, I used to get so mad at this because firstly, architects make bugger all. I make more money drug running 
for the bikey gangs. It's a much more stable career choice. And secondly, I find it so rude to just blurt out the first stereotypical assumption that you have of that profession when you meet someone. For example, if I meet an accountant, I don't say to them, ooh, you're an accountant, well you must be boring as fuck. <laughs> I'm much more polite about it. I'll say, oh, so you're an accountant. You must be boring as fuck. <laughs> Thanks guys, you've been absolutely wonderful.